The previous two videos, we started a construction company and a shed retail store. In this video, we got a big job ahead of us. We gotta remove and replace a septic tank. It's gonna be a crappy job, and let's not get into it. Well guys, I think we thought of a name for the construction company. Nate, I checked the internet last night on the YouTubes, and Squad Builders, a guy recommended it. So instead of Squad Built, like the software company American Farming, with American Farming the best mobile game there is, it's Squad Builders. Works good? You like it? As long as our motto is, can we fix it? No, we cannot. Perfect. I like it. Okay, we got a big job ahead of us, but first, we have a potential new employee coming in. So, we're going to see how he does. We're going to interview him and run him through the arena. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Ah, there he is. Good old Val. Oh, shoot. Hey, Val, over here, man. Can you, can you hear me, Val? Shut your truck off. What do you want? Am I in the right place? You're here for the job interview, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not, to, we're not supposed to park here. No, you, well, what's the, no, what's you're, the case? you're good. Step out of your vehicle and then come over to the office. <clears throat> well, let's see if I can still get up them dang stairs. Stairs have always been my enemy since 1993. Nate, this is Val. Val's a good old friend. He was my old neighbor, weren't you, Val, back in 86 or 87? Yeah, I remember you as a young fry. You were the one that kept stealing my tire swing. Well, 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 well. well, well, well. And don't you go off on me. I know what you did. Well. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, yeah, <clears throat> memory's getting bad. Very nice to meet you. So where, uh, where, where's my paperwork before I sign to join? I'm, I'm ready to start working today. I got my fitness in this morning. I've already smoked three cigarettes and ate four plates of bacon. Well, we, to go. we got we got to do an interview first, sir. Uh, how old are you? I am 75 years young. Not bad. No, well, not terrible. What's the max weight you can lift? Well, up until about three years ago, I used to be able to lift up my ex-wife, but uh, ever since I threw my back out and my arthritis, I, I probably can't lift more than uh, maybe 40, 50 pounds. Alrighty, do you have any contracting experience? I, I wouldn't just say that, but I used to work with uh, heavy equipment when I worked out at the state park. Okay, sounds good. Um, have you ever been to jail? Yeah, at least once. What was that for? For what? Well, when I worked out at the state park, there's one time I had to do a project at home, so I just took one of the excavators, hopefully no one would notice. Then that new brat ratted me out in the middle of the morning shift. He's like, where the heck's the excavator? I was like, I don't know, there's not tracks out the driveway. Next thing you know, I got written up, reported, and I was in the slammer at 3 o'clock. I got bailed out three days later, but now I got stealing all over my stuff. No one trusted me ever with that equipment again. They fired me two weeks later. Oh... Okay. Okay, Val. I think I have the information I need down here. Uh, can you give me your phone number and we'll uh, give you a call about, about what our decision is. Sound good? Yep. There's your information. Uh, you boys have a good one. Yep. You too. You do, Val. Uh, all right. Easy does it. All right. Okay, Val. We'll see you, man. We'll let you, we'll let you know how it goes, man. Neat. We can't hire him. What we were can't you hire him. thinking? Shut the door. Shut the door so he doesn't hear us. Okay. What I, were you I thinking? I thought he was going to be good. He was my neighbor for a long time. He was a good guy. First of all, he can't lift 75 pounds. You got to lift it. He said he could only lift 40 or 50 pounds. Second of all, he says he steals excavators. We can't hire yeah, him. Why would you bring someone that steals excavators to my shop? I didn't know you that. Know what? I got two excavators out there right now. I bet he's stealing one of my excavators right now. I didn't know that. He's not. Grant, right now, this is all on you. One of my excavators are now leaving me. You better call the cops. I'm not dealing with this one. Do we really have this to call the cops? You. Are you serious? All right, it's coming out of your paycheck, man. This one is not on me. There goes a half a million, a quarter of a million dollar excavator right there. Okay, guys, cops got the excavator. Anyways, we should have another one coming in. This one should be a little better for the interview. Oh, look at this guy. Bucky boy, how you doing? Oh, long time no see. Looks like you boys finally got the call. Oh, yeah. Well, I got the call. Are we ready to get my application so I can automatically be accepted? He's got a couple questions for you. Now, so I hate the... him, yes. You're hired. Get out of here. You're fired. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. No. Right. Freedom! Get back here. Man, I gotta do smoke break. Bring the application out here. All right, got a couple questions. You been to jail? No. Can you lift 75 pounds? I can lift you. Does that count? All right. That works. You're hired. We had a tough job for you today, though, Buck. And that would be? Gotta install a new septic tank. Okay, Buck, so here's the main shop. We got two case skid loaders, actually three case skid loaders. Got a really loud hydraulic door. Got a Chevy dump truck, cat backhoe, two excavators, one stolen right now, one dozer, and another skid loader and an old forklift over here. Now, when I take you over here, we've got 
four different work trucks between Ford and Chevy. All good trucks. Two of them are diesels, two of them are gassers. We got these gooseneck trailers over here, these low boys, because we don't have a CDL. We can use these versus using a semi. Works super good. And then we got this international tractor that we use for a lot of seating. It's a 1066. Works super good. Okay, and then over here, we got the barnyard where we sell a lot of smaller sheds. We retail them out of here, sell them. We'll either deliver them to the customers or they can come pick them up out of here. And you'll mainly be in charge of this buck, helping, uh, helping Nate with it. Well, I work at a very offset version of the Home Depot. Exactly. All right, Grant, I'm gonna let you keep showing him around. I'm gonna go inside the office and get a, go ahead and get the advancement on the money so that I can go ahead and buy the materials, okay? Perfect. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. okay, so Buck's getting the trailer out and we'll load up the excavator and we'll probably take two or one of the dump trucks so that way we can haul away the dirt from the job too. There we go, we'll get her loaded on the trailer without throwing her off the side, hopefully. Perfect, she's strapped down, the 450 is squatting pretty good, but we'll, we'll be good. Buck, you can haul this, right? I just likes this. Yeah, I'll be fine, I've towed things like this before. Okay. Maybe Perfect. not this treacherous, but pretty close. Okay, we gotta get the skid loader loaded up on the trailer here. Backing up on the trailer seems to be easiest. Back around on there, and good to go. Okay, so me and Buck are ready to go. We're waiting for Nate. Nate's loading up the new septic tank over there on a dump truck, and we'll follow Nate, and then the whole crew will be rolling out. Actually, Grant, can you come over here for a minute? We need to put some rocks in the back of your dump truck. Where do you want me? Uh, over here near the rock pile so I can put some in there. Okay. We gotta have a sturdy base to what we're doing today. Okay, Nate's gonna get me loaded up with some rock, and tell me when, Nate. All right, hang on a second. How full are you? 40%. All right, I'll dump this one load, and we'll send you off at 80. And last one. There we go. Should be good. That should be enough. We should be ready to roll. And then Nate has the septic tank. Check this thing out. This is super expensive, but he's got the septic tank and all the piping we need to put in a new septic system. If you guys don't know, septic system is where the crap goes for it's a the house. Food tank. Yes, yes, it's that. That's what it is. And that slowly leaches out, usually into a yard underground. <laughs> and if anything gets dirty, Buck's gonna be the guy, the new guy. I hate you all. The crew is rolling. We got Nate ahead, we got me, and then we got Buck. If he can keep up with the 450, coming with a big excavator. Oh! Buck got red caught light. at the red light. Welcome to Wisconsin. We're based out of Iowa, but we're right along the Mississippi. So we do a lot of jobs over in Wisconsin. Works out good. Nate's got GPS on his, his dump truck, but I'm thinking this is the house most likely. And we got Red Old Man Buck rolling on in. First things first, we need to get the skid loader unloaded so that way we can get the septic tank off of Nate's trailer. And then I guess really first things first is we need to start digging a hole. So Buck's gonna start digging with the excavator. We'll get the ramps down, get the skiddy unloaded, and should be good to go. So what am I doing? You're digging a hole. Come on over here. Coming. Okay, Buck barely fits between the house and the fence. That's why we don't have too big excavator and we don't have too small. Too small, it just jobs just start taking forever. Okay, Buck, here's the deal. This homeowner had an old, like, homemade septic system, okay? So I don't think they write it down on the blueprints to the house at all? Do they have yes. that information? I think we have it marked right here. I don't know if there's going to be a septic tank, dude. We might hit manure level, like, in two foot, and it's just, it just could be manure underground. I, I don't know, dude. So just start digging. This might get a little messy. Well, I'll at least kind of clear a little bit of a pad. Yep. And we can see what we're working with. Okay, Buck's digging, and it seems like Nate's trying to get through the fence here with the dump truck oh yeah there we go that thing sounds good too okay buck's gonna pile the topsoil but we're afraid we're gonna hit like i said like a nasty manure level so that's what we're using the dump truck for once we hit that level and anybody who's done septic tanks in real life we're probably not doing it the correct way it's okay we'll be fine we'll be good i would think we'd be getting at least close to what system was there i don't know but i could start to smell it Oh my gosh, dude. All right, moment of truth. We think we're at the manure level, guys. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, no. That's that stinky stuff. Oh, no. Hey, Grant, you oh, want to tell whoa, me if that's whoa, manure? Whoa, 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 Buck. Watch out, man. Hey, Nate, you want to check if that's manure? Ah, uh, there's a reason I'm standing as far as I am from you. Okay, loader in the dump truck. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're dumping the, call it nasty dirt, in the truck. We'll see how much we can haul out of here. That is sta- Oh, there's a truck there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't take out the mirror. Don't blame me. You're good. That's a nice pile. Should go dump it in Val's yard. <laughs> oh, gosh. You, you left some behind, Buck. 
Yuck. Oh, oh, oh you're no. spilling it, Buck. <laughs> oh, no. We're there you dumping go. on the ground. Okay, so we got all the maneuver out. Buck's down to a dirt level now, which is perfect. And it all fit in the dump truck. So Nate's going to get the dump truck out of the yard. He's got to figure out a place to take this stuff. But we got a full load of manure. What do you mean, figure out a place? I know exactly where this is going. Uh... Don't tell He's me. He's going to directly to Buck's yard. Oh, God. Oh, God. You actually be doing me a favor. I've been uh, trying to go buy some yard fertilizer the last few years, but the prices have been high. <laughs> I know. I'm doing you a good favor. I'm going to put it right there on your front porch for you, buddy. Buck's going to keep digging it bigger over there. Me and Nate are going to get the tank off of here, and then he's got a bunch of piping that we got to move. I got to use a skid loader and lift this thing out of here. Okay, so we got the septic tank. I got to figure out how to lift this thing with the skid steer and move it over. There's pallet four coals right here. We should be able to just fit this thing in here. We'll see, though. Okay, so we got the septic tank. I can't drop this because this thing was, like, crazy expensive. Nate's getting the gravel back there. And I gotta be able to fit this thing between the house and the fence here. And I don't know if that's possible. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Nate to uh, come out because he's, he's gonna dump the gravel quick. Okay, so we got all the gravel dumped here. Nate's just smoothing it out with the excavator. And this is gonna be the base for the septic system down here. Next, we need to uh, drop the septic tank in. Oh boy, we're tipping. We're tipping. Come on. Come on. Oh, we are just barely gonna clear this fence, guys. Come on. You're good over here. Keep it going. Buck, how's she looking up there? You're fine. You're good. You you got like two feet to the gutter system on your left. Okay. You're good. Keep it going. You're clear to swing on the left. Okay. How do you guys want me to dump this thing in here? Don't we got a couple two by fours? We can almost just slide it down on there that are braced. Okay. Check this out, guys. We got it all laid. Now we got the pipe coming out of the house, comes out of the toilets, through the house, goes through this pipe, and then goes into the septic tank. And then the septic tank has a leach field that just kind of collects in there and then has a leach field that slowly leaches out like under the skid steer over there and that's where the waste goes awesome setup got the project done we just need to backfill this thing okay so buck is spreading the rest of the material over top of it we got this thing buried and it's working and nate let's get the skid loader loaded up man so that by the time buck's done we're good to go Sounds good to me. So we'll quick throw it back on the skid steer to the trailer. Nate's getting that dump truck. Dude, that dump truck sounds so good. That Nate's got. I don't even know what brand it is, what brand we bought, but uh, I like the sound of that thing, man. Okay, load up and good to go. We'll get her strapped. And I bet you Buck's probably done by now, I would guess. Okay, Buck is out of here and job is done. We're going to let this settle a little bit and then come back with some more dirt to level it all off. But for now, we got to get some rains on it to let this thing all settle down. But uh, we'll get the x fair loaded up. And we got paid 15 grand for the job, which raises our income. We lost a lot of money by building that, that, uh, that shed yard. Currently, we're at $57,000. All right, I'll see y'all back at the shop, boys. Nate's taking off. I'm following Buck. We are rolling. And there's the high school where me and Buck went to school. We've done so many series at that specific high school. Oh my gosh, in the past. I remember- Drive your tractor to school day and we're all 45 <laughs> year old adults. Yeah, drive your tractor to school day. We had BNS towing right across from the schoolyard. In 17, FS17, we probably did something else there. I forgot what it was. We didn't even work together until 19. But we've had like two or three businesses right over by that school or done like two or three different scenes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, Buck. <laughs> I need assistance. I need assistance. Okay, hold on, Buck. Hold on. Okay, and we are back to squad builders. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. It Buck. would not turn. It oh would my not gosh, turn. dude. Buck's... This thing is not liking this at all. Nate, did we check if Buck has a driver's license? How about you no. check if your equipment's actually towing correctly? Everything's sliding off. You got olive oil on the floorboards. Literally, it just turned left. Okay, we are back. Everything's good to go. And we made some pretty good money on Squad Builders. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode with Buck, Val, and Nate. Thanks for watching. And their YouTube channels are down below if you want to check them out. Thanks, guys.